ACS journals have editors who are practicing scientists. They're all top-notch people in their respective fields, and they are themselves authors and reviewers of papers. A major challenge, I think, for almost all researchers is keeping up on the literature. And so we just simply do not have time to sit down and read an entire issue of a journal. It doesn't happen anymore. But with accounts, you can get rapid entry into the most recent exciting results in a way that's very digestible. I think of accounts as a seminar in print. So for example, if someone has been publishing some number of papers on a research topic, each paper might be a very detailed uh, article on a certain aspect of that topic. And after a few of these papers come out, you realize you've got a nice story to tell. So that story, that seminar presentation, can effectively be captured in an account. It's exactly what an account is. It's a summary of some results surrounding a body of work and setting it then in the larger context of the importance of that work to the field. Now, accounts does not specialize in any particular area, but rather um, covers all of molecular sciences. My research is in a very interdisciplinary field of oxidative damage to DNA. And so this is a field that involves the organic chemistry of DNA bases, the free radical chemistry of how bases are oxidized, biochemistry, uh, the effects of DNA damage. I think accounts should be the, the place that authors will go to explain to other chemists what it is they do. And so I would like to see accounts be really the showcase for where people present their uh, most recent research ideas and conclusions. I think a, another um, a special feature of accounts is the educational value of the journal. If I wanted to get an overview, if I wanted to really learn about some emerging topic in chemistry, accounts was sort of my bedside reading. So it's always been a dream to be involved in my favorite journal.